children, Rui and Yash, are the most wonderful additions to his life and lifelines. In June 2016, actor Tushar Kapoor had also announced the birth of his son through surrogacy. However, that had prompted the centre to frame guidelines for surrogacy. Once approved by Parliament, there will be a complete ban on commercial surrogacy, but altruistic surrogacy will be permitted for needy infertile couples under strict regulations. While Bollywood has been leading a family crampy by adopting surrogacy as a means to have children, the question is, is India ready for the single dad? <clears throat> This, of course, is the latest information coming in. Bollywood director Karan Johar has become dad to twins. Kejo has tweeted that his children, Rui and Yash, are the two most wonderful additions to his life and lifelines. I remember, Karan Johar is the latest uh, dad through surrogacy in Bollywood. In June 2016, actor Tushar Kapoor had also announced the birth of his son through surrogacy. Well, however, that had prompted the centre to frame guidelines for surrogacy. Once approved by Parliament, there will be a complete ban on commercial surrogacy, but altruistic surrogacy will be permitted for needy and fertile couples under strict regulations. While Bollywood, of course, has been leading a family kranti by adopting surrogacy as a means to have children. The question is, is India ready for this single dad? This, of course, is the latest coming in. Karan Johar now becoming the latest Bollywood uh, personality to become dad to twins through surrogacy. Karan Johar tweeting that his children are the most wonderful additions to his life and lifelines. Abhimanyu Sharma is joining us with further details. Abhimanyu, what can you tell us about this story coming in from Mumbai regarding Karan Johar's uh, kids through surrogacy? <clears throat> moment for the filmmaker of course he is overjoyed and ecstatic over the latest addition to his family and he has also stated that uh, this is something which he always wanted in his life and has expressed uh, thankfulness uh, to medical <coughs> science and the doctors uh, due to which uh, such kind of an addition was possible to his family. Also, uh, he has joined uh, the ranks of filmmakers, not only uh, outside India, but also who are a part of Bollywood, uh, especially Tushar Kapoor and also Shah Rukh Khan, who, have, uh, who had opted for, uh, for, for surrogacy for I IVF and uh, became proud parents. Uh, also, uh, the, uh, this has been a contentious issue of debate across uh, not only India but several other countries as far as uh, the social and, uh, uh, and other, pos uh, other genetic ramifications of uh, the IVF are concerned. But of course, the, it has been a successful technique which has made it possible for millions of people around the, around the world to experience parenthood and that is, that is something which is very well expressed by Karan Johar uh, in, the, in the recent tweet which he has clearly Listed, he, is, he has expressed thankfulness to the to medical science and the advancements which has uh, made it possible for him to become a parent, and he has also uh, ex uh, expressed thankfulness uh, to, uh, to the uh, to the joy of uh, of fatherhood. Uh, he has also stated that it would be an added responsibility Abhi for Manu, him, you, which he would be more than. Abhimanyu, you just, uh, Abhi you just stay on with us. In fact, we are also joined by Vandana Sharma, now women's right activist. Vandana Sharma, how do you react to this uh, entire debate, which will be reignited once again? Uh, through Karan Johar's announcement, through Karan Johar having kids through surrogacy? No, I am totally against this because this is to against nature. And uh, to have kids uh, being by uh, being a single father is totally... I uh, Because, you know, the child needs the mother's love also and the father's love. To bring up a healthy child, you need to have both the parents. And this is totally the father's love. To bring up a healthy child, you need to have both the parents. And this is totally against nature, for which I am against this. Okay, and uh, do you feel then that, that uh, uh, you know, the, the, the guidelines should be fast-tracked, uh, that there should be a ban on commercial s surrogacy? Uh, women who are weak financially, people who are rich, they are taking undue advantage of this surrogacy, and they are pressurizing these women to come forward for their, you know, benefit of their financial status. So this... I totally agree with you that we should put a ban on this. The government should come forward and issue some guidelines about this. Right. <clears throat> and Vandana, of course, the, the fight is continuing in court, isn't it? If you can just tell our viewers what the update is regarding that. 
the update is that we are still uh, not very clear what exactly the government is thinking about doing it because the case is going on but still there is no uh, guidelines clearly instructed by the government so women activists lawyers general the public should come forward with kind of a memorandum yes and really you know and and, and their counter their counter mr sharma would be uh, that why is in india ready for the single dad uh, you know if if uh, if if an individual wants to have a kid through surrogacy what is the problem of people that would be their counter how do you respond to that of course because our culture is totally uh, we are <coughs> following most of the population in india is uh, hindus and um, as i told you earlier also that uh, we are not mentally prepared like what the western culture is so okay. we uh, believe in a joint family system in a nuclear also family a mother and father should be there for the healthy upbringing of a child single parent to this totally against me well, well you are saying um, most of the people in india are hindus are how does religion have anything to do with this tomesh sharma pardon can you repeat this? yeah i i said you are saying most of the people hmm. in india are hindus how does religion have anything to do with this though of course religion has to do with it because we have been brought up in that culture from our childhood because we have uh, you know we believe in god god is his and a culture is totally you know not kind of western culture which i am talking about hindus are deep rooted hinduism is deep rooted in our culture We leave it there, Vandana Sharma. Thank you for joining us with those details. Let's get in uh, Abhimanyu back into the broadcast as well. Abhimanyu, you are hearing, of course, voices of opposition already coming to the fore once again. Well, exactly, and interestingly, uh, the very culture she was speaking about, uh, she referred Hindu to Hindu culture, but particularly Hindu and Buddhist scriptures, particularly uh, mention uh, have a mention of cloning and artificial insemination. So, of course, it's not that alien uh, to uh, to Indic religions, particularly. Of course, there has been there have been voices of religious opposition uh, from Abrahamic religions in this regard. Of course, <laughs> there have been strong voices coming up from several religious leaders against artificial insemination and. IVF uh, since they are they are stating it uh, it, it as uh, op opposed to nature and also interfering and meddling with nature's affairs yet there is a is, there is a conflicting voice too uh, which of course uh, supports medical reasoning and medical science and also has some backing of uh, of scriptures with regard to hindu and buddhist inscriptions which clearly state that of course uh, with advancements in medical science and theories uh, it uh, it has been possible uh, uh, as it was listed in scriptures and also uh, what we are seeing today uh, not only about ivf or artificial insemination but also several other medical techniques which we are witnessing at this point of time be, uh, be it blood transfusion or be it organ donation they were also considered kosher and banned at some point of time in history and that also not that distant but even recent recent history and there were several reasons cited behind those uh, and Se several people had uh, had died due to due to such kind of dogmas and such kind of reasonings which were cited uh, by several religious and cultural groups so of course it is a, a point of contentious debate and as far as uh, misuse of poor people and their bodies is concerned that of course is something w which requires intervention from the government side although it remains to be seen uh, what macro view would the government take although it's uh, still uh, uh, still still quite vague to say what the government is going to decide in the long run of course uh, the, uh, a union minister had hinted some months back that uh, that use of uh, that use of bodies of yeah. uh, of poor women uh, for such <laughs> for such kind of procedures should be banned as far as uh, issue of money and monetary considerations is concerned yet it remains to be seen how this gray area <coughs> would be addressed since uh, artificial insemination and ivf are banned in several countries and are legal in some countries and of course residents of the countries where it is banned use uh, The, the countries where it is legal uh, to uh, to come uh, to come and uh, undergo these procedures so of course it is a gray area it is an issue of contention which requires thorough debate not only from the legal side okay. but also from the medical and psychological yeah. aspect uh, uh, abhimanyu abhimanyu just stay on with us urvashi kona also joining us now from mumbai urvashi what today has karan johar said over this whole story so far Well, uh, 
uh, if we see Karan Johar out there who has become a uh, you know father to two kids uh, one uh, is Ruhi and one is uh, Yash uh, is what he has given the names to the two kids if we see and talk about this particular surrogacy which is uh, you know in recent times has become a kind of uh, a lot uh, kind of gift to lots of many people uh, over here is Karan Johar who has come out and explained this particular whole uh, thing as marvels of uh, medical science adding on to that in the past we have seen that how Shah Rukh Khan uh, whose third, uh, third kid uh, that is Abraham had come out uh, you know was also uh, IVF uh, had was uh, IVF that uh, he had got third child uh, uh, Tushar Kapoor uh, his son uh, was also uh, via vitro fertilization so this particular surrogacy and IVF if we talk about it has come out to uh, you know as a, a boon to lots of many people it has come out uh, as marvels of medical science as uh, Karan Johar has explained so lots of many people are taking uh, advantage of the same but then yes there are lots of many also uh, uh, sections in the society who are not agreeing to this particular fact and who are not ready to accept uh, this uh, whole medical science uh, development that has taken place absolutely and you know once again we can expect Urvashi the the voices of opposition to rise once again uh, similar to what had happened you know in the case of Shah Rukh Khan and uh, and uh, Tushar Kapoor as well to other film actors who also had kids to surrogacy yes uh, uh, you uh, you talk about the mindset you talk about uh, the way people are thinking about it or it is related to, uh, you know it is related somewhere to uh, religious uh, uh, religious parameters that are there people are not ready to accept so easily about the uh, about the development that medical science has come out with but then somewhere it is a growing uh, you know a growing or rather growth in the medical sector lots of many doctors lots of many scholars of the medical uh, fraternity have welcomed this particular move and they uh, they somewhere all uh, also think more on this to uh, make it more just, just easier and that more uh, just hold that thought urvashi kts will see Radha Sabha MP and senior uh, lawyer is also joining us now. NewsX, uh, Mr. Tulsi, how do you react to this entire debate that is kick-starting once again after Karan Johar's decision, sir? You see, uh, this is uh, perfectly legitimate. It is a desire, and uh, why, why should uh, the uh, why, why should mankind not take advantage of scientific uh, advancement? When uh, surrogacy has become possible, it's, a, it's an excellent mixture of science and uh, nature. And uh, instead of uh, the, the, the babies growing up in test tubes, it's much better to have them uh, through uh, a hybrid process. All right, we leave it there. Uh, Mr. Tulsi, thank you for joining us with your perspective, sir, on that story. Thanks also to Urvishi and Abhimanyu, who joined us earlier. Thank you.